Let us continue playing Cardpocalypse as we go into the unknown of Wednesday. Have we seen Jacob? You must get to eat the spite food from the show. Nah, it's infected with alien goo. They're mutate and die. I never said they wouldn't mutate. Speaking of goo, do you ever figure out what caused the weirdness, Jess? No clue. I investigated, but we didn't find anything. Or maybe it's the purple ketchup. Or the school is alive and the walls are bleeding and the blood is purple. Jacob said he would take a look. He's like super smart. He'll figure it out. Aren't you forgetting something? Hat, check. Bag, check. I think I'm alright. Jacob's not here. What? He's always on the bus before me. Maybe got a ride to school this morning. I wish I could get a ride to school so I wouldn't have to take the bus. That'd be a little hard to pull off, don't you think, baby girl? Um. Well, I mean, if you're my Mr. Bus Driver, it's going to be very difficult for you to get a private ride into work. You could die! 50% chance of death, 50% chance of getting awesome mutant. What do you say? Ooh. I would eat it. In your face, Sam. Attention, students. This is Principal Harding. I have an announcement to make. How oh, is it this time? Is she banning fun completely? Jacob Pilgrim's parents are here in my office. Their son didn't come home from school yesterday. What? Any students who know the whereabouts of Jacob, Jacob Pilgrim must report to my office immediately. That is all. Jacob is missing? They just ran away from home for a day. He's probably fine. Or his parents got rid of him and they're covering up their crimes. No way, I bet he's really... A were kid Oh, now this again. Maybe he didn't want to come to school today. He's hiding out somewhere at home. I did that once. No, this seems like Jacob. Something really bad could have happened to him, you guys. Maybe I can ask around to find out if I can <laughs> I can figure out who saw him last. If you can ask every kid in the school, you'll be finished from pig's fly using hover, using hover packs. Oh, one time I saw him help Nathan carry a diorama. And he was forced to partner with Hannah in Mr. Nichols' class once. You can ask those kids whose lockers are next to his. Damn it. <gasps> you tell me Jacob didn't have any real friends? Well, none of us did before you got here, right? Well, I'm his friend, and I'm going to look for him during lunch. Okay. Operation Find Jacob. And also, probably, play some Power Pets. So we have a few investigation um, areas now, so we can have a look, and this will give us clues as to what we can do. Brandy is like a neighbors with Jacob. She must know something. We can hope so. So let's go and speak to Hannah to begin with. Hannah, give me some info. Do you have a hall pass? I don't have time for this. I'm Chief Agent Detective Inspector Hannah Hicks, and you better show me your hall pass. It's lunch. I don't need a hall pass. Have you sent Jacob? He still goes here? I thought they sent, he got sent to prison. I haven't sent him. You were forced to be partners in Mr. Nichols' classroom, right? Oh, I don't remember that. I usually leave that class early to guard the halls. Oh, that didn't help. Let's have a chat with... Who have we got available? Cedric or Danny on that side? Well, we'll have a chat with you, actually. Justin, what have you got for trade? You have... Spite spores, which are quite good. We have... Flea Master. Oh, we've had, we've had that before, actually. Uh, processor. So this means he's hacking health with enemy means hacking health. Ooh, okay. That could be quite useful. And of course, popcorn. Who is there? We're not going to do any training of that sort at this stage. We are going to instead have a look around and see what we can do. So we've got Owen for the tutorial fight. Actually, we'll do Owen first. Get our tutorial match out of the way because he will probably give us a new champion, and hopefully, it'll be a champion. Ooh, that goo is everywhere. I mean, just going through some stories, we know something happened here. But, um, oh, thank god, it's everywhere. Hmm. Don't be quick to anger, Jess. Have you tried using hiding minions yet? 
Sometimes the best course of action is to keep these minions in the shadows. Wait for a crack in your enemy defenses and strike! Time your moves wisely and instill terror into the hearts of your foes. Hide, wait, and murder. Got it. Build your deck and let's try it out. Alright, well, we are gonna take battle, but we're gonna battle him with Queasy. Let's do this. You'll never see me coming. We actually don't have any defenders at the moment, but Owen starts. Attacks for one. Yeah, so no hidden cards here. I'm not even sure I've got any in the deck, actually. Okay, so we have Needler. And we'll go and... Oh, actually, no, I've already cast with that. Okay, fine. Attack there. Go. Does mean we're going to get an increased power into Invertoys. Yep, gains 5 health, and we'll gain up to a free 8 in a moment. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, we'll play you, attack for 1. Attempts to attack here, actually. We only take 1 damage back, so yeah. Let's start taking the advantage. Oh, he doesn't want, want to fight the Invertoys, but does kill James Stanley, unfortunately. We have a 4-8 defender. Only getting slightly silly now. Um, okay, let's attack one. What's your thing? You do make a 4-2 mutant. Okay, well, that's fine. So he makes the mutant and then we can charge with the rabbit foot and kill it. Charge! And we still have an increasingly powerful Invertoise. Nope, a couple of charging hiders. Oh, he's got the kill at last. Well, that took a lot of his resources to get that done. Alright, let's go for Explode and Boneless. And we'll kill you. Slick for potentially 7 damage. Alright, we go Mega. Mega. Give us a 5-5, five five. I think that... Oh, he's sneaking our 5-5. Five five. <laughs> Only until the end of turn, though, apparently. Alright, uh... Oh, sorry, enemy... Actually, we don't even need, need to worry about this, really. Play the mutation. We will... Yeah, we just take the kill here. Go Wolfian. Go Mega Queasy. Nice one. We didn't do what he wanted us to do, but, you know. Well played, Jess. Here, you'll need this for the challenges that lie ahead. Challenges? What do you mean? Don't you get it, Jess? I'm never going to an really answer your questions. It's kind of my thing. Alright. Well, I guess take the cards, I guess. We are defeated Owen on Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, so... Ah, oh, no champions. Oh, I was hoping for... Actually, we can take another one of these. We actually have one of these already, so... I think we want to take a second Hello Spitty. I think we're going to be building that deck soon. So, quite a few good cards for it. Alright, Nathan. Let's find you and have a conversation. We also have Mindy we can talk to as well. But Nathan, last time, gave us the ability to make our own card, James Stanley. So, let's see if we can make another one. Isn't Jacob... Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Well, which is it? If you can get power pets, maybe I'll tell you. Uh, fine. <laughs> Making power pets a chore. Alright, we need to defeat Nathan in a match. Uh, okay, let's have a quick look at what we can do to adjust things here. So we do have a new champion. We have... Poofant the Killer Diva. Uh, attacks the enemy champion, that minions gains one attack. So... Well, plenty of health and the ability to attack the enemy champion here, and also does two damage when we go down on health. So high health stunners, Glowpard is fine, Krenicat, copy a random enemy face down mutation seems fine, Shadowcat obviously good, James Stanley obviously gets in, we have two copies of Hello Spitty, so additional hiding shenanigans, stun, scratches for some more charge effects, Grab that, grab that. Couple of defender, a defender. Couple more invertoises. Grab you as well. Might as well stick with the hide, hiding charge theme, in all honesty. And one more card. 
can take a tiny dog. Can't argue with a second tiny dog. All right, let's try this. Let's see if this deck is any good. We're up against Queasy, so it is our usual thing here. Basically holding Jacob the Ransom, you know. Just play the game. Grr. All right, we start, and we're going to start with a 3-1 Defender. And attack for one. So you can trade, but Queasy will take some damage doing this. So we, well, the one thing we don't want him to have is minions, because he can power those up continually. So we're going to play our lethal attacker and go. Of course, we get bonuses for attacking the enemy champion, which is kind of... Ah, oh, okay. So he's powered up that. Thankfully, we're not too far away from being able to deal with that ourselves, actually. Okay. Attack one. Attack one. James Stanley deals with that. Okay, so we're getting two attack from hiding. This is good. We can build up some attack in the background while this is going on. And also, he's going to gain attack when we hit. Oh, so we could do a couple of options here, I think. We don't want him to have minions. If he has minions, we... this is kind of anti the strategy in a few ways, but... What happens when he transforms? He gets a 5-5. Five, five. And he can turn a minion into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Holding off for a turn. Plays a defender. Okay, so we can go hit for free. We can then rabbit foot kill that. Or we can play with 2-9 stunner. Uh, I've, got to, I've got to deal with it. And I think now we're almost at the point where we could just go for the attack now. Seven power. He could counter and kill it, but... Whatever he does with this, he dies. And then we can... Go in. Yeah, let's do it. Go up to eight power. Mega. So he's got, to, he's got to attack that with Wolfian. He doesn't. He, in fact, triggers our Mega. Mega. So we have two and Ambush. So we have Lethal on him at the moment. Oh, we put a Defender out. Okay. And there's a Gleedle. Okay. So. We can kill the Hot Dog. Go up to 10 power. Play our own lethal defender. Play another hider. Attack for two. We want to be careful with Gloodle. Yeah, let's go for face. Up to 12 power. Up to 14 power. He doesn't have a defender, he just loses. Well, hello, Spitty. You have proven worthy. All right, all right. Okay, the deck needs some work, but that actually was pretty good. Hello, Spitty is amazing. He helped you carry a diorama once. Oh, yeah, that thing was real heavy. Let's get that, Jake. Jacob. Okay, well, that wasn't helpful. Let's talk to you. Somebody has to know something. I look like a grown-up. My mum doesn't dress me in the morning. Gosh, what's going on? My mum doesn't dress me, but she does drive me to school. And the other day, she saw you and said you looked disheveled. What's disheveled mean? It means you look like old, dirty dishes. Hey, this is top vintage. As if all my clothes are from Italy, so I look classy and timeless. Yeah, no, you look like you had no time to get dressed. At least I don't look like the ladies that give up peanuts on an airplane. That joke's on you. I haven't even been on an airplane. So if you stop, you both look great and there are way more important things to worry about. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, who is more stylish? Well, um... Well, I guess since you're here, we're going to say you're more stylish. 
What does she know? <laughs> what do you mean it's the real fashion queen? And do not lie to me, I'll have to face the consequences. You are most fashionable. Huh. First time I saw in class, you called me a clown. Where well, would you like to look around? <laughs> Here, this is for being so cool. What do we get? Oh, we have precious! So precious. Oh, uh, Jean Frise. Bling, bling. So now I'm wondering what we would have got had we gone the other way. Hmm. Do I still have the option of um, saying the other person's more stylish? I wonder if I do. I got lucky carpet, right? Who do you think is more style? You may not just say something you want to hear. See yourself warned. You are most stylish. Huh. Catula, the parasitic cat. Catula. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Catula. Not Dracula. I am nothing like Dracula. Not at all. Not at all. Indeed. Good. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Otherwise, people might have been confused. But we've corrected that issue now. Absolutely nothing like him. Let's have a quick check on what Catula is. I know we faced him once in the past. Uh, whenever you're in, the enemy deploys a minion, you gain an attack. Oh, yeah. This is just the counterattack. The mass counterattack minion. So... Yeah, I'm not sure how we can take advantage of that, but this is definitely a deck we want to build at some stage. Because that could be really powerful. I mean, even if we just took the Poofin tech we have now and put that in, that's probably reasonable. Alright, so we're done with all the people outside. Corey's in the music room. We'll go there next. Corey! We must have words. Where is Jacob? Hey, Corey, it's your best friend in the whole world. I'm here. Can I get snacks now? Oh, good. I need you to get the answers to Mr. Kensington's test. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, it's easy. Just tell the Jack Gary. He works for the big guy. Hey, the big guy can get answers to any test. No problem. Then why don't you just do it? Or why don't you just study? Studying's for chumps, and I'm not the one who desperately wants any my delicious snacks, am I? Get your answers, because we need those snacks to trade for trading cards. Okay, let's go next. Actually, we can go to Billy B. Let's find out what's happened to the club. Hello, Billy B. Nice wheels, kid. Check out the chrome. Not bad, right? Pretty slick. I heard you gave Bruce a sock in the jar a couple of days back. He got what was coming to him. Heard you punched a tooth out. And tea for its short supply here. Alright, well, nice meeting you. I have a friend to find, so... Whoa, kid, slow down. We got a job that you can do while you look for your friend. Steve and Jordy have some super rare power press cards, like a, a ch 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 Chikita. Older kids play power pets? They like to trade. Yeah, rumor has it they want one of to trade one of those break one of these break discs. Bike co brand. You can't get them in West Dudsdale. But we can't talk to them ourselves, Jess. We're from East Dudsdale. You know where it is, Jess. Sure, East Dudsdale kids are the best. Done right. I see her on our side. She's perfect for the job. Okay. So let's bring back a Chikada. Sure thing. Make the trade, get the cards, see you soon. Okay, let's see how good the Chikada is. We, I mean, we're probably going to end up giving it back, but, you know. Actually, was it here? Who are we giving this to? Uh, search for Jacob. I'm sure you, you, I'm sure you were an option earlier. We were just here. Alright, fine. Um Hey new kid. Aren't you the one who got the kitty game banned? I don't want to talk about it. So, uh this chair has no gear system, right? That's right. So it must be tough pretty tough going up hills. Yeah, but it's worth it the free wheel down the other side. I bet. So what are you doing all the way Ah, oh, this is Wes Dustdale. Okay, fine. I have this bike curb break disc you know you guys want. 
and I know you have a Power Pets card that I'm after. Us? Play Power Pets? No, uh, no sir, we would never... you know, huh? She knows too much. It's suspicious, Steven. Jordy's right. How can we trust you? Trust and respect go together like peanut butter and jelly. How about a game of Power Pets? If I win, you gotta trust me. Makes sense. All right, let's see how you do. All right. So let's go and play a game of Power Pets to prove how trustworthy we are. Uh, we're gonna edit the deck here, and we're gonna change the champion to Catula, and we're just gonna try it exactly like that. Obviously, we were focusing on other things last time, but let's let's go. Ooh, new champion to chest out, Vala, squad leader. Okay. When one of your minions is destroyed, gain one attack until the end of turn. Hmm. Oh, this might match up really well. So clearly from that, they want to deploy a lot of minions, which means Catula gets more powerful. Okay, this, this could be good for us. So we go straight up to two power. Immediately destroy that. All right, let's play a... Boneless Defender. So we've got two defenders to work to hold off. Moving on. Alright, Cax and Kills. Wait. Oh, he gained attack because he killed his minion. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hmm. Shh. Okay, this could get interesting. Alright, inventory go there. Now it does two. Ah, uh, should have done that first. Okay, sequencing is going to be an issue here. I haven't been this card in my deck. Enemy minions cost one more. And he's just deployed a couple of minions. We now have four power. We'll play that, because that looks really good at the moment. And we're going to play this. Alright, so four attack. Let's take out Gambit. End the turn. Because in theory they should all kill themselves on Catula, and that's the only person they can attack. But that does power up Valor. Ha. Huh. The good news is, that should put Hello Spitty up to 9 power. <laughs> and put us very close to just going Mega. Okay, so we grab you until the end of the turn. So if we can get you killed, actually, we can draw a card. Thank you very much. 11 power. <laughs> Alright, so we're currently sitting on 11, 14, 16. Charge up for 20. Play another Spitty. Play an Invertoise. And... Clearly it's bash time. Deploy a 1-8 minion. Okay, so we've got a Shadow Cat still. They kind of have to kill this Invertoise and they can't do enough damage to do both. Your minions gain one attack and defender until the end of next turn. Okay, so they... No, because it would still get two and two. So we'd have to deploy something with charge in order to get out and kill Spitty, who can counterattack. Okay, so Spitty... Attacks. He's still there as well. Uh... Oh, I've got to kill the other defender. Rabbit foot, charge. 15 power. Uh, yep, 17 power. Catula transforms. 5 power. What's your effect? Your champion is plus 1 attack for each enemy minion. Getting control of an enemy minion on transform. And then I think we're just going to hit you for... Well... Nine, as it happens, but we had a 19 power Spitty on the side. Okay, this deck is good. We like this deck. Let's set that break disc. We have the Cicada. When this minion attacks, deploy a... F oh, that is very good. It's almost a swarming thing, so I'm surprised it's not a Pipsqueak card. Well... We're going to have to make giving that back, I think, because that actually is a ridiculously good card. Anyway, 
We've tested out a few of the um, Meowtians. De the um, Meowtans. They are the Meowtans, aren't they? I always done it. I will learn the faction names eventually. Meowtans. So we tested out a couple of their champions, and we come up with a reasonably good deck. So I think we're going to have to see if we can get some decks of the other two factions and see what we can come up with. So next time, more card games, and hopefully we will find Jacob. Even though we kind of know out of character he's dead. X is in the eyes. They don't lie, unfortunately. But we will find answers and we will play Power Pets. Until then.